Parables of the reign of God, uh, which are scattered throughout the church year, are important for us to understand how freeing it can be when we put our trust in God and actually believe that our efforts are kind of a partnership with God, but that the strength comes from God if we keep ourselves open. This is a, a clear indication of today's gospel that talks about scattering the seed and not knowing what happens at night. Um, the miracle of the sowing of seed, obviously scientifically we understand what happens now. But the, the image of it is really about, um, we trust that if we're faithful to the tasks that we're given, God can prosper uh, what's going to happen. It doesn't mean there won't be troubles, it doesn't mean there won't be weeds, uh, it doesn't mean that there won't be dry soil, things like that. But the faithful person takes what God asks of them and applies themselves to it and watches what God can do. And the surprise is always there. You know, it's, if you're sowing a mustard seed, uh, the miracle of that is what it can produce, this tiny seed, what it can produce in life and in richness, even a home for all the birds parable goes on. Think about that when you think about your responsibility as an evangelizer, as a person who sows the seeds of the gospel. Just be faithful. Be truthful. Let people know about the love that you found in your life because of God. You're not there to catechize at this point. Right? You're not there to indoctrinate or share doctrine with people. What you're there to do is to testify to what's happened in your life because you've, at least as much as you can, as much as any of us can, given yourself over to the reign of God. So that's the word for this Sunday. Be faithful. Sow the seeds of God's love in other people's lives and tell them Look at what's happened in your life. This tiny seed of the gospel has blossomed into one of the largest trees. The reign of God's become real in your life. And it can happen in the world as well. Be faithful in sowing love, and love can prosper. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>